Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And um, so we talked about browsers. What is the best browser? Um, pretty much, you know, the one you use. There's differences in the browsers. Like I said in my video, I don't think that the uh, Microsoft, uh, the uh, Google Chrome browser is necessarily the best. It often is a little bloated and takes a lot of, um, you know, memory and, and, and CPU cycles. But Overall, whatever you use is fine, but um, a lot of you have asked, is there one that is more secure than the others? So, of course, we have Google Chrome as a browser, we have Mozilla Firefox, we have uh, Microsoft Edge Chromium, there's Safari, there's Opera, and the other types of browsers, well, you can, you know, use uh, Brave, some of you use that, and so on. Is there one that's more secure? It's, first of all, security, I always like to say, is you. So meaning, what keeps you secure in a browser is really what you'll do on the internet with your browser. And that's the important thing. Understanding that the security of your browser comes from, basically, the use of the browser. If you go on obscure and, and illegal download websites and stuff like that. Even though some browsers cope better than others with that, it's still a danger. And that's the thing you got to understand. As for the security, well, if you look at different reports, um, the most important, I think, is the one from um, uh, Pond to Own. Pond to Own is a hacker's event every year. It's meant to discover flaws in software and part of the software that they want to look at the flaws is browsers pond to own has actually said that google chrome is one of the safest browsers out there right now in terms of security and that is based on the fact that they've had you know it's the browser that was the most resistant to any types of attacks that they threw uh to google chrome so technically, Google Chrome seems to be a winner on that side. But what really makes security is two major things. And it's simply to make sure that you are careful with what you do on the internet, first of all. And the other is to simply make sure that you update and you have the latest updates to the browser. So in Google Chrome, you go to the upper right corner, three vertical dots, you're going to help and you go about Google Chrome to make sure that you have the latest. If you don't, it will update itself. So here it's going to check for updates and update itself. As you see here, mine is updated. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, uh, simply go to the upper right corner into the three horizontal bars or what we call in the hamburger menu. Uh, go into the help section and of course here you will go into about firefox this is going to check if your browser is up to date if you're using uh, edge chromium three dots on the upper right corner it's often pretty much always the same so you know just go to the three dots go into help and feedback go into about microsoft edge it's going to check for updates and update itself it it needs any updates um, in Opera is the same thing. Pretty much every one you have to go into about the browser and it will tell you what version you have and update itself. That is probably the number one thing that keeps you secure. Secure. After that, what you do on the internet is the second thing that keeps you secure. And if you noticed, I didn't talk about any antivirus you use because it's totally useless uh, in, in security if you're not careful. Uh, once again, a lot of people still think that the antivirus is important. It's not. You, what you do is important. Uh, and having your browsers always updated is important. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.